Alright guys, hey, so I've been playing this Naruto game called Naruto Project. It's made by Unlimited Project and the creators of Attack on Titan Project. So, basically, I am literally bootleg freaking Sasuke. I'm dullest or Sasuke, bro. <laughs> Got Sharingan. <laughs> and I have fire and lightning, bro. You can call me a freaking... Dallas, there's Asuke. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be helping you guys get started on the game, how to, you know, get into it. So basically, you want to join the group first off and the Discord. So it might take you like a few minutes or an hour or two to join the, uh, to get into the group. But yeah, you'll be, you'll get in. I can assure that. So after you get into the group, you, and you're in the cord, I'll leave the group in the link in the description, by the way. So yeah. Um, after you get into the, uh, Discord, um, and group. Uh, afterwards, you wanna join the game. So, after you join the game, you wanna check your village and your clan. So, at, once you check your village, you wanna go to the, um, leaf server, the, um, I mean, ah, uh, the village servers or something. It's something I called like that. I think I'll have an image on the screen. So, when you do that, um, you get to, uh, the cord, so you're in the discord for the, uh, freaking um, village. So after you're in the, uh, discord for the village, you want to join your clan discord, and they will have, like, a clan discord channel or whatever for you to join the clan discord. So after you're in all that, and you're pretty much repaired. So, next we're doing, next, how to rank up. To rank up, you have to go to trainings. Um, here's an example of a training. You know, you have to like be STS like this. So, while you're in a training, you're gonna have an instructor. Um, this guy is the instructor, Robin. Robin's the the instructor, right? He's also a Sani. We'll get into Sani in, this, uh, in a second. So basically, instructors are like the you know, the people, the academy senses, they'll teach the people, they'll teach uh, Genins and um, academy students. So, at the end of a class, they'll give you a class up, and but you have to pass through like all their stuff, and you have to like go to the trainings and do what they say. Um, you can be dismissed if you're uh, pff, act being sped, so I, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but yeah. Once you um, get your class up and you get to Academy Three, okay, you're you. Once you get to Academy Three, you want to do the Genin exams, and those will be held. And those you'll get pinged whenever they're doing like trainings and exams. By the way, I'm telling this to all of you. But you get pinged in the Discord. This is why being in the Discord is very vital. So once you get, once you see they're holding a Genin exam, you want to join the game. Do the getting the exam. There was like, there's like three phases. That's what I went through. It was uh the um, question phase, the formation phase, and the PVP phase. Um, the PVP phase. Even if you lose, you will be able to win. I lost, but I I I, I mean, you'll be able to pass because they judge it off how you fight. So however you fight, if you fight well you'll be able to pass so don't worry about losing as long as you fight well you're good to go next after you become a genin you know you pass the genin exams and now you're genin you want to attend trainings like usual after you get to genin six my rank you want to do the tuning exams now tuning exams are held in squads so there will be four, three squads and there will be a sub squad so if you you're gonna land in one of the squads and there will be a time for when they hold the exam tuning exams so you know you you stay with the squad you do squad stuff you know all that you know they, you go through the tuning exams i think they have phases i'm not really sure because i haven't taken them myself yet i'm just going off the information that people have told that i've the uh the uh, information i've uh gathered from people so uh yeah so you pass the tuning exams woohoo yeah um after you pass the tuning exams you want to go and you're gonna go on missions you're gonna go on missions now missions are 
different or not you're no longer doing um trainings is basically what i'm saying you're gonna go on missions and missions give you points now points are like a exp type thing for tunings and jonings so how it works is you um you go to a mission you do do a mission and you get a certain amount of points and let's say your point cap to rank up is like five if you get like a uh, two points from that mission you'll have two points and they log this they log all your points so don't worry your village will log your points each time you go on a mission so yeah after you have the enough point enough points you can redeem a class up and you will be able to be classed up that, that's basically what it is it's pretty simple really um jonins do the same thing as tronins you still go on missions you know get points all that and yeah now the sanins robin is um a sanin okay robin's a sanin and sanins can have disciples they can either be cho they can you if you ask to be a son now this is specific i think this is only for leaf only leaves have sonnings so for you leaf people there are sonnings now if you ask to be a sonnings disciple yeah they do have disciples if you ask to be a sonnings disciple uh you're i wouldn't recommend that you you could get rank locked or something i'm not sure what happens but you do get a punishment so yeah, um, they either hold tournaments or they choose their, uh, or they choose their, um, their disciples. Oh yeah, this is our Kage. This is Leaf Kage, by the way, Joe. Um, but yeah, after you do all this, you know, you're good to go. So now you know the ranking system and all that. Clans. Clans now there's different clans um you know different clans have different clan specs you know do you know your clan spec once you become uh academy three and you just check the skill tree to see if you have a clan spec or not all, not all the clan specs are added yet they still have to add stuff like kagios and stuff uh these there's a lot of stuff but yeah speaking on that um that's about all there is to it really the rest you can find out which is really easy once you, cause you're gonna be in the discords, you're gonna be involved in the community. So yeah, the rest you can find out pretty easily. Anyways, yeah, that's about all there is to it really. It's pretty simple. Um, But yeah, uh, I'm out later.